The Florida Department of Health is reporting several blue-green algae blooms in the Tampa Bay region. And after that drought that we've had, followed by heavy rain, well, the blooms are expected to get worse. It's a problem because these smelly, slimy blooms can be toxic to people, fish, and other animals. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Hannah Deneen takes a closer look at how it's already impacting one business owner and what the state is doing now to curb these harmful blooms. This is the murky mess along the Peace River in Wachula, which tested positive for blue green algae. It's closed down one woman's fossil hunting business for weeks now. You know, we're waiting essentially, but some people will go up to their waist deep and I don't want anyone to be in jeopardy and have their health and safety welfare. Um, you know, compromise H2O adventures and more staying out of this H2O. Over the past few weeks, the Florida Department of Health alerted the public to multiple blue-green algae blooms in Polk and Hardy counties. According to researchers with the Florida Blue-Green Algae Task Force, the state is combating this blooming problem from many different angles. One of the ones that um, has gained traction that's established, but we're gaining more and more experience using it in the field would be these various hydrogen peroxide treatments. There's also mechanical removal of the algal biomass. There's ozonation and other oxygen based measures. Um, they all can help, but they will not remove 100% of the algae. The Blue Green Algae Task Force says blooms typically peak in June and July when temperatures rise. To monitor water conditions near you, we have a link to the Department of Health Algae Bloom dashboard on 10tampabay.com. In studio, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is here. And how does this week's rain really impact these blooms? It, it will help in some instances, but then down the line, it might make it a little bit worse. So okay. initially, the river where she's trying to do those tours, right? It's, mm -hmm. There's not much as much water in there. June and July is when those temps are warm and it really peaks. Yeah. May was like June. We had a really warm May. So we've already had the temperatures, and that's why it's already gotten so bad. The rainfall now will filter that out at least a little bit to dilute it into yeah. the river. But the bottom line is the back end, all that water and, and the nutrients that are coming off lawns and those types of things goes down towards the intercoastal, down towards the Gulf. Yes. Those nutrients feed things like red tide and, and algal blooms like that. So yeah. uh, it's a double edged sword at this particular point yeah. to get some of this rain. We really need it. We got a lot today yes. and we got some more on the way.